All right, so this is the follow-up to the video I did on the 5.4 liter, uh, the timing set, and oil pump and everything like that. But here we have it several months later, several thousand miles later, um, and let's just see how she's doing. Just to show you the check engine light does function. We'll crank it over. Okay. And it has uh, misfire codes in it. Those have all been resolved. Uh, now that the timing is on. And just to show you some quick information, any, take this with a grain of salt. I mean, you wouldn't go in here and say, oh, there's no fault and you know, um, you know, there's, there's no sink issues. But, you know, we're just, we're, we will confirm this, uh, this data here with the lab scope momentarily give you some info on that whoa whoa quick happy on that one sometimes it's slow sometimes it's slow or I press the wrong buttons some background on that but uh, I think that light was on the check engine light was on it was all kinds of messy it it had some real bad misfires you know basically on that whole bank this uh, this vehicle really relies on the bank to uh, cam sensor for inputs. So let's go uh, under the hood and check it out. All right, so I got my leads hooked up. Back to the cam sensors, same as before. Okay. Same thing over here. Alrighty, so I'm gonna set you guys up and hopefully I'll figure out this glare and we'll look at this wave. Alright, I'm going to go in, start her up. Okay. Alright, that's about all we need. we got a full page of data, so we'll zoom in and see what's what. So it's just bank one and uh, bank two, if you care to know. Uh, I believe the blue is bank two. Uh, not that it matters right now. Just it matters that we got a good signal. Uh, it might have been too fast of a rate there. Bear with me here. and zoom in again there we go so a little bit better than before I would say um, I guess we can zoom in one more time eh. see it's all hashy and stuff you can run filters and everything on here um, but as you can see these are uh, dead on I come over here and this is just a curse I mean I can't even I can't even measure it but they're uh, they're on and like I said uh, you know no check engine lights or or anything like that I can't find here's the other cursor but yeah I mean you can't even pick where I would have to uh, you know they're they're dead on as as you can see so yeah that's uh that's post repair of those synced up um hopefully that's a good enough picture for you to kind of get what a good a good waveform would be i did the sample rate was uh, a little bit too too much there but um you can compare that with the other video i might have it actually see 5.4 no that's a different 5.4 work on a lot of 5.4's 4 cam signals that was back this is back in March 
So let's see. Let's see what I got. Yeah. There's your little bit off there, friend. So you can see the difference in, uh, in those guys. They ain't looking too good. What was my sample right there? See, I had it at uh, 50 milliseconds, but anyways, uh, definitely a little bit of difference there. So, that is post repair. Uh, no oil leaks, uh, no issues, no check engine light. Uh, we might be coming back for an EVAP video on this guy. It's got a really, really small leak. Not throwing a code, but it's kind of pending in the mode 6 data. So, alright guys, well, from here on out, I'll do the post, you know, uh, the, the, re the repair. Because I know that's important, but it just takes time. So, no more excuses, we'll do post, post repair. Alright, we'll see you all on the next one.